My name is Joris Laarman. Uh, we're doing a show at the moment here at the um, gallery uh, Friedman Benda about um, our, our uh, last work that we did in the, in the last five years. Well, I first uh, found a certain research about uh, a car part that was uh, uh, generated in a more lightweight way. And uh, at first this, this little car part um, was like a geometric shape, uh, ba basically for making it in an industrial way. And after um, a certain software program uh, went over it, it just re was reduced to its essence and it took away all the material that's not needed uh, while maintaining it, um, the same kind of a strong uh, object. It was, um, the research was done by this professor in Germany uh, called Klaus Maltek and he was uh, studying the, bo the growth of bones in trees for a long time and his research was then further on developed by uh, uh, Opel, the car company and um, I got in contact first with the professor and then he um, uh, told me about Opel and then we started to work together uh, to make a piece of furniture that was never done before in a way. The beauty of, uh, of nature, uh, nature's way of growing. Um, but what does happen always is that it, it's never uh, geometric. It's always, it has this, uh, at the end it has these curves. Um, it's, uh, if evolution would have wanted to create a chair then it would look something like that. So. Working in an experimental way uh, you, uh, you get much more unexpected results and you actually invent things and uh, that's what I really like to do. So, and if afterwards uh, it, uh, it happens to be a really good industrial product or uh, saves the world or whatever, I'm really glad. <laughs> and the chances are actually l higher that it will uh, this way than if I think about uh, I need to uh, save the planet and then right. It, it probably doesn't happen, so it's a way of working. Wow. Well, in the gallery show, we, we, we present the, for the first time actually a finished body of work uh, that's based on the whole um, uh, bone optimization process. And now we are also trying to translate it into an industrial uh, product.